may have noticed there is something a little bit different happening here. I'll give you a hint. If your guest started with hair and ended with cuts, ding, 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 you're right. I got a haircut. Now, I'm no mind reader, but I can guess that some of you may be asking, why would you cut all of that beautiful hair off of your head? Why would you do that? Why? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here are the three main reasons I chose to cut my hair off. Number, number one, one, one. Anxiety. Everything I did revolved around my hair, like my work, my play, my sleep, like getting invited to an event or to an outing at the last minute was a, whoo, a headache. And when I say a headache, I mean a nightmare because if my hair wasn't on point, no, 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 I'm not going. There would be times when I would stay up mad late just doing my twist out so that in three days it could be popping because you know that three day twist out is everything. Yes! I started getting to a point where like I would walk past a barbershop or walk past another girl who had a short haircut and <laughs> I would start sweating like my armpits would start sweating because I was just like stuck in this constant tug of war like am I gonna walk in this barbershop and get my hair cut right now or am I gonna hold on to my hair because I just can't let it go. Like, frustrating. Got. So finally, three weeks ago, I walked into a barber shop and I was just like, "Can someone please just cut all my hair off?" You mean to say you cut all your hair off three weeks ago and you didn't text a picture to your friends or post a picture on the internet for instant shock value, approval, or validation? Numero dos. Need for external approval and validation. I felt like one of the only reasons I was keeping my hair was because I knew that other people liked it. Like it, it made me feel really good to know that my hair helped make me attractive. Is there anything wrong with that? No, we all have a thing. We all have our thing that makes us feel good about ourselves, right? We have a thing that's our thing. I didn't have a problem with my hair being my thing. I had a problem with my thing controlling me. I was feeling like a prisoner to my hair, which leads me to my third and final point. Maintenance, y'all, maintenance. Now I know some of y'all may be thinking like, isn't it a little bit extreme to just go and cut all your hair off? Like, what happens next time you feel attached to something for the wrong reason? I'm glad you asked. Cutting my hair off was not just about anxiety and a need for external approval. A lot, and I mean a lot, of it had to do with maintenance. Like, plain and simple. It was so much work, y'all. It was so much work, and I was so tired. And like I said before, like, I was literally losing sleep over making sure that my hair was on point. That's crazy! I just wanted something that was gonna be easier, something that was gonna be less maintenance, and I always wondered like what I would look like with the short, short cut, and now I know. That's you lots, honey, yeah! You better work. <laughs> I love it, y'all, like I love it so much, and Probably, you know, what's most important out of like all of this is that my head's not nearly as big as I always thought it was. Now, let me be clear. When I say that my hair was a lot of work, that is not to say that natural hair in itself, because of the texture of it or anything like that, is a lot of work. It can be a lot of work because of the styling that we do to it. That's what takes a lot of work. So there are a lot of people out there who are willing to put that time and energy and money into their hair and their hair products. Not I said Trent. I like low maintenance and I like ease. And this is both. So I have less hair, but I also have less anxiety, more time, and more self-assurance. And I love it. I love it so much, y'all. Can any of y'all relate to this? Like, have you ever felt like there was something in your life, maybe not necessarily your hair, but just a thing in your life that you felt like 
you were too attached to or something that you felt like you needed to let go. Or maybe you're dealing with something like that right now. Leave a comment for me in the comments below. I wanna hear about it. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please and thank you. Cut it, 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 cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it.